Hello folks. I just wanted to give you an example of what the QHY one-shot color camera on the right here, how it compares to my ZWO mono camera here on the left. And uh, the one on the left is using four different filters, luminance, red, green, and blue, and that's compared to just one-shot color. Um, I spent the same amount of exposure time for both, one hour exactly, um, and I'm just surprised that uh, how similar the colors came out between the two. And, you know, if you really want uh, something easy, um, but, you know, I shouldn't say easy because if you know the steps for both, neither is very difficult. And if, if anything, I would say both pictures suffer from the lack of amount of attention I give them during post-processing. Somebody who really gets into that and wants to make a pretty picture can probably do wonders with both of these. But I would say if the nebula is bright enough and there's enough broadband light coming out of it, I think the one-shot color can almost hold its own against the, the mono camera. Um, I'm going to show you a full screen picture of each one as soon as I'm done talking here. But now where the, the QHY-10 fails is on dim objects. And after this, I also show um, how it looks. You'll see my failed attempt, at least, on the heart nebula if you keep watching. It, it was just not coming out. Even after two hours, the nebulosity of, with broadband light, it, it just wasn't looking good to the point where I just stopped. You know, that's really an object that needs um, narrow band. And this is where the one on the left, the ZWO mono camera, it shines. Trying to do narrow band with one shot color, I've heard, I've never tried it, but I've heard it's not nearly as effective as monochrome. So anyway, let's, uh, let's look at uh, both of these uh, full screen and then I'll move on to the heart. Hello folks, today I'm going after the Heart Nebula, and forgive the way I sound, I'm battling allergies, I'm battling a cold, you name it, I've got it. This winter has been a killer for me. But I'm going after the, the Heart Nebula, and uh, I'm doing five minute exposures with my one shot color camera. I just want to see if it turns out red, at least pick up some red, and uh, here's my guiding so far. It looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to be able to improve upon this. And um, I just started. I don't have any images to show you yet. But when I do, I'll stack a few and come back to it. Okay. See you later. Okay. I am back and I've had a chance to stack the first seven images that came through. And since they're five minutes each, that makes for 35 minutes so far of total exposure time. And, and let's see what we've got so far. Okay. Now... I knew it It would look like this, but let's just run a, a quick uh, background extraction, and it's already set for subtraction. Let's run that and get a better look at it. Okay. All right, so this is kind of what I expected it was going to look like. It's faint, and this object definitely needs uh, HA data associated with it. Let's, I don't know why the QHY10 camera always rotates it like this. Let's fix that and let's flip it. Okay, so you can kind of see after 35 minutes of data, the heart is already starting to show up. And with my wide field camera, it easily fits in a single frame. And it's interesting, This you can see the QHY10 camera has a a bigger sensor than my mono camera. Here's the mono in HA and the heart barely fits in this frame, but it easily fits in this one. I'm just hoping I can collect enough data with this camera to at least make it uh, appear more bright. Um, th this image only contains a uh, flat calibration frames. I, I accidentally de destroyed my bias and dark frames, 
I would have to rebuild that library. So hopefully uh, this is going to look a lot better with the final outcome. I'll see you Hello, later. folks. I am back again. And this is now 20 images stacked. And um, they're five minutes each. So that's almost two hours of data. And it's not helping. The, the nebulosity is, is just too faint in this picture. And to me, it's, it's not going to be fun trying to, to make this thing more bright. I, I really think this is a job for the ZWO mono camera where I can also incorporate um, HA, even oxygen or sulfur into this. Uh, I, this is probably not a good target for the QHY10. So I'm going to end this project on the heart and just retake it another time, maybe later in the year with the ZWO camera. Okay, I'll see you later.